Hello, I'm Archana Bhuswari, Assistant Professor at EIT Chennai IOIT. In this video, we are going to discuss the SDLC, the simple SDLC model of this case. So SDLC is basically the software development lifecycle. It is the process which is used by the software industry to design, develop, and test high-quality software. So SDLC basically aims to produce a high-quality software that meets or exceeds the customer expectation and reaches the completion time, whatever estimated time is there, as well as the cost estimate as well. The SDLC is the acronym of the software development lifecycle. It is also called as software development process. It is basically a framework defining the task performed at each step in software development process. So SDLC is a process which is followed by all the software companies mainly for a software project. So it consists of a detailed plan describing how to develop, maintain, replace, and alter or enhance the specific software. So the life cycle here defines a methodology for improving the quality of the software and the overall development process of the particular software. So here you can see the graphical representation of the SDLC, which are the different stages are there in the SDLC. You can see it starts with the requirements, then analysis, then design, coding, testing, and acceptance. Okay, so we'll go through these all the steps one by one. So first of all, the requirements. So requirements with the definition, it is basically done by the customer. So because the customer who wants to develop some software, he will dictate uh, to the company, to the software organization that he wants such kind of software. So basically he dictates those requirements. Okay, so that is the first step to gather the requirements from the customer. Second, once the requirements is gathered, are gathered here, <coughs> second one is analysis. So in analysis phase, what we do is as a software team, uh, development team, we analyze the requirements to form an initial software model. So basically here we are going to develop the SRS, that is a software requirement specification. It is one of the one software product you can say, which is required to design the software. For next phase is we want the SRS to be ready. So analysis phase, in this analysis phase, we are going to do the SRS. The next phase is the design. So here, the detailed definition of the inputs, outputs, what are the inputs required to your particular software, what, what are the types of the reports or the output it is going to generate, and what processes it is going to use, including which data structure we are going to use, what are the software structure we are going to use. So all those things we need to decide over here and design accordingly. So that is the design phase of the SDLC. The second one, next phase is the coding phase. So here, whatever the design is done in To translate that design into the coding is done. The coding also includes the SQA activities. SQA stands for the software quality assurance activities, such as inspections, interface, and integration. So many takeoffs from this. This is done by the developers, individual team member, group, or the team integration test. So multiple tests we do over here. The next one, the testing. So in testing, phase, we do the different types of the testing. So over here is to discover the error in the error to an acceptable level of quality of the software. So which is carried out by the developer to delivery of the software. So we need to test it at different stages, the different testing methods. So sometimes acceptance acceptance is just by the customer or in the developer. So the acceptance phase is most developed alone or the Maintenance. Uh, we perform these steps like you adaptive and perfect steps. Thank you.